see. Oh, he's shitting on the roof. <laughs> Take Gary for a walk in the morning. <laughs> Fuck you guys. Fuck you, guys. Should have taken me for a walk, you prick. The shit on your shitty car. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you go mental. How you going, Gary? All right, just chilling, chewing your cud, mate. Um, this car's done 400,000, so I don't need a car alarm. So, um, come over here, mate. Gary, come on, Gary, Gary, let's go, Gary. That's it, mate. Come over here, mate. Let's have some fun. Let's go to the park. Let's go on the slippery dip. Let's go, guys. Gary, come on up, you come, mate. Come on, mate. That's it. Let's go down the slippery dip. Oh, yeah. What do you reckon, guys? You want to go down by yourself? Yeah? Alright, guys. Let's go down, mate. Before the RSPCA gets us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking yeah. There we go. Where you going, guys? You didn't like that? Fuck it, I'm gonna finish it. Come on, Gaz, at least if you break your leg, you got four of them. I've only got two. Mate, is Gary in trouble again? Oh, my Gary's mate. Can I, can I film this? Why? Oh, because I, I do comedy shows across the road. I'm doing the show tonight. And uh, Gary's my mate, he travels around with him in the car, and he's just always getting into trouble. Who's Gary? Gary's, Gar that's Gary down there. That's Gary down there? Yeah, yeah. So, right, uh, buddy, I need to get some details. Yeah. I mean, John Groves is my name. Yeah, no worries. All right. Anyway, Gary, I'll just fill this out. No photos, right? No, no photos, right? Oh, we'll just sign it off. So, so basically saying that it's an offence to have livestock on the road. Absolutely. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, we'll I'll, um, what about on the footpath? Road goes from building site line to right. building line. Can I have him in my car? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. Okay. Look. Yeah. If you want to put him out, if you've got somewhere, yeah. you yeah. put him out in time to a rail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he can eat a bit of grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's not necessarily a problem. Yeah, no worries. The only problem is him wandering okay. around loose yeah, on his yeah, own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the last thing in the world we want to see is. No, nah, him get yeah. collected by a truck or a vehicle? Or nah, that's alright. Well, it looks as though he's already got collected by a truck and a vehicle over there, but I'll get him off. And uh, we'll put him in the car, we'll go across the road to the pub, and we'll do the show tonight and make people laugh, and we'll get out of here. Here I am at the end of the tour in uh, Buster's shed, and uh, we're all relaxing. Especially Gary. <laughs> Gary, you are one chilled out goat. Hey, Mr. Chicken, why are you crossing the road? Why are you doing it, mate? We all want to know. Just tell us. That prick won't answer me. That's good, Gary. Stride it out, brother. Got to get you fit, mate. That's good, Gary. Not in front of the car. Don't want to run you over. That's good, Gary. 
If we're gonna take you to these towns with wild dogs, you gotta be fit. So you can get away from them, mate. Outrun them. Oh yeah. Good work, Gary. Keep it up, brother. Keep it up, brother. Come on, stride it out. Come on, that's it. Come on, you don't want to be on uh, Channel 9 and doing the biggest loser for kids next year. You don't want to be the only goat on it. That's good, Gary. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it, Gary. Oh, pace. Love your work. That's enough for today. Good work, Gary. Oh, yeah. Anyway, here, here we are in Laverton. Hey, Gary. Gary's in the back seat there, and I've just picked up Audrey. And um, you need a lift back to your village. And Audrey, what happened to your eye? Uh, a dog bit me when I was asleep. A dog bit you when you were asleep? Yep. Fuck, Gary. You've been, you, you had a dog bite you when you were awake. But or, So what What happened, Audrey? I don't know. I was just asleep. Where were you asleep? Were you, were you inside or? I was asleep on my bed in the caravan. Yeah. And the dog, do you know the dog? The dog, um, Tanya's. Tanya, you're right. And, um. And what happened to your eye? Did he? Did it? Um, is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. I can see. You can see. So you just went to the. What? What happened? You went to the hospital. They just put some bandage on. Yeah. Well, that's no good. I tell you what, you got to be careful of wild dogs in this town, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, Gary, you've been bitten. But anyway, uh, Audrey, let's take you home. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anyway, Audrey, uh. Here you are. We are back at your village. Wongatha. Yeah, yeah. Right, eh? I'll let you back here. But um, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Where do you, which one do you live in? Cockatoo. Okay, left. Yes, please. Are there many um many people up here? Yeah, some people around here. Yeah, yeah. They what they all they're all in the bush. They say so you're looking for some people. Oh, they're looking for kangaroo and emu. Do they hunt them still? Yeah, yeah. The good. What's your favourite, emu or kangaroo? Oh, both. Both. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, uh, looks like everyone out everyone's out hunting, eh? Yeah. But I'll, I'll let you out here, Audrey. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Audrey, and um, yeah, maybe sleep with one eye open tonight, eh? Hey? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Here we are at uh, here we are going for our uh, radio interview at 2GB. Come on, Gary. Let's go, mate. Come on, Gary. Let's go in, mate. Come on, Gary. In the lift, mate. That's here, mate. Isn't it brilliant? Can I go? It's just brilliant. Oh, yeah. Are we out here? Here we go. There's a goat. Isn't it brilliant? Oh, my God. Yeah. Gary, away from the chocolates, mate. <laughs> okay. Okay, you know. You've been in the papers everywhere. Yeah. You? Oh, yeah, well, Gary has, yeah. <laughs> uh, Gary in the... The staff room. <laughs> right. Can we touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Loves a party. Sorry, he's had a few beers. Yeah, you had two. Oh, that's great. Oh, don't, don't. Yeah, there you go. Right. Gary, you'll get you'll get diabetes, Gary. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Gary, here we are at 2GB, and you are the best publicist a comedian could ever want.
brave and strong enough for the family. Proud Furniture really is the lounge specialist. Open seven days with showrooms right across Sydney. This is Happy Hour with Ben Fordham. We do have a goat right here, and this goat's name is Gary. Uh, uh, and with Gary is Jimbo. Anyway, guys, it's all over, mate. Let's get out of here. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Let's go home. Okay, the purpose of this video is just basically to explain how you can travel around Australia uh, for free, as in free fuel, no fuel costs at all. This is the basic setup which I've got from my mates Dougie and Dave. It's uh, an old van and um, they've put a 44 gallon drum on the back and uh, you put used cooking oil from pubs straight into that and that goes straight through those pumps into that comes down here, comes down the side there, goes through a heat uh, exchanger which you can get from any home brewing kit and um, basically as two tanks this one goes down to diesel that one goes up to uh, veg oil so and then um, you start the car and you roll so uh, yeah that's it anyway I've come into Bounding and um, met a guy here called Carl who gets all the oil from the pub and he um, lets you get out of those cans there and he puts it into here and it basically goes in there and it filters through there into there goes down that pipe there and it goes into another tank there which is just got just using gravity <coughs> just got a filter there all the shit goes down to the bottom and then all the good oil when it gets to there goes to there goes into this cube which he has kindly offered to me for free being a fellow free fuel enthusiast anyway um we'll meet Carl soon and uh, yeah here we have Carl from his other tank in there which is full hey. yeah and uh, hi Carl and uh, <laughs> and Carl's little pump there so put that straight into there and um, Carl is loading me up. Oh, yeah. Gary, how am I going to pick you up, mate? You, yeah. <laughs> you can't. You can to be able to pick you up, Gary. How am I going to get you into the, into the van? Yeah, he's definitely put on weight. <laughs> Gary. There's no way. Oh, I've lost weight. Gary's put it on. <laughs> Gary's told me in the road, brother. Had a great time on Donald Maggie's farm, hanging out low. Time to go to the other side of Australia again. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Come on, start your bastard. <laughs> so what happened when you saw the goat today? What it? When you saw you with the goat? Yeah. We think you want to cut. <laughs> we think uh, you you need to cut uh, the tail. What? Yeah. Why? Because what's today? Is, is because because okay. in this day in our country, in yeah. all area of Muslim. Yeah. It's a festival. Yeah, festival day, yeah. And what do you do on the festival we, day? We cut, uh, what do you mean for 
uh, really uh, goats or camel or cows and eat this with your family and uh, oh really today yeah right and when you see this person he want to get this hair all oh, right <laughs> we are so you saw you saw Garrett and you thought hey we could have a bit of a we could yeah. be having lunch today yeah <laughs> thank you Gary, keep your distance, brother. <laughs>Just going to uh, here we are running more security. At least want to put on a lead or something. Oh, right. I thought only. All oh, right. No, he's, he's not out of control. <coughs> although he loves chips. It's just but, not clear that he's under your control. All oh, right. So. How about if I call him? Mate, do that again. That's great. Oh look at that. Yeah. Oh, here we are running more. Gary. He's got lucky. Security aren't real happy though. Stay tuned. There we go, Gary. Oh, Gary. Oh yeah, Gary. Bit of a uh, bit of bestiality in the mall. <laughs> get in there, Gary. <laughs> Look at the missus going. Get your tongue in. There we go. Right. Oh, oh yeah, we've got a bit of a scene here. Take it away, Gary. <laughs> But uh, even security's taking photos <laughs> of me. <laughs> oh yeah, well, uh, breaking a few laws, but we made a few people happy. Uh, here we are uh, crossing the Nullarbor, and we picked up a hitchhiker, David. Yay! Hey, how's it going? Yeah, from France. From France. And. Uh, Oh, he's making friends with Gary, yeah. Yeah, he's my best mate. Yeah. He's a really good guy. Yeah. He's, uh, so you've been hitchhiking all around the world? <laughs> and have you ever met a goat before in a car? No, no. Not really, no. Not really. Well, that's, that's useful in France. Yeah. Well, Gary's never met a Frenchman, so, no. So we've got David and we're going, we David picked up David outside Port Augusta. <laughs> And I was just saying, David, do you know where you're going? And he goes, no. No idea, no idea where you're going to eat. He's going, going to Perth. Perth. Yeah. Perth. And so, have you heard of the Nullarbor? No, well, never. no, never heard of it. Well, this is the Nullarbor. It's a fucking long road. It's, uh, it's about 2,000 kilometers. And then, uh, so we're doing a gig tonight in Kimber. And then um, I'm going to Kalgoorlie. You haven't heard of Kalgoorlie? David has just heard of Western Australia. Good on ya! That's what we like to hear. Just go there. True adventure. And you know, we did a gig down at Kimber Pub last night and fucking no one turned up. But Fez turned up and said, hey, do you want to come down to the shed and, uh, you know, have a good time, do a bit of a party down there? And David the Hitchhiker came and fucking we've got the whole crew here. <laughs> These are all the drunks in the morning. Dave, anyway, the they said, Ryan over here, Ryan's dad said uh, he could play anything. And I said, well, play this guitar I picked up at the uh, amphitheatre garage sale for a few bucks. And uh, Ryan has just pointed out that it's got an amp. Anyway, it's made out of uh, tin and anyway, let it rip, Ryan. <laughs>
You got the X factor. <laughs> but look at this. This is just full of used cooking oil. And anyway, I've just dumped 250 litres in there. Um, just put this pump on, put it in, and um, we've got 2,000 two thousand kilometres to get to Kalgoorlie, and this is going to get us there for free. And across the Nullarbor, diesel is about two bucks a litre, so this is um, this has been a 500 buck gig for me. <laughs> Unreal. And, uh, Oh yeah, and uh, we've still got David, uh, the French hitchhiker, so we're, we're you heading... Remember, yeah, you had a good sleep last night, I know oh, it's like... that's the best one ever. Oof. When you're hitchhiking, you're travelling, and you've got to stay awake and entertain people, and yeah. every now and again you just go, fuck it, I want to go to sleep. Exactly. You just, when, when, you, when you're travelling, you just want somewhere safe to sleep, don't you? Yeah, safe. Yeah, yeah. just safe. It doesn't even have to be no, warm no, or cold, uh, just safe, okay. yeah. There we go, and we've got our, <clears throat> we've got our guide go. Gary, don't do that. You'll fuck the whole system up. <laughs>
and then we're going to walk back and then go up to the checkpoint, you know, declare an app or whatever they want, tell them we've got no livestock, and then um, drive through and collect Gary. Okay, there's a truck going down the road. We're going to basically sneak in behind the truck. That one's going to the quarantine station down there, about another 500 metres. Come on, Gary. Let's go, mate. Let's go. Let's go, Gary. Okay, we've just slipped across the road. We're on the other side. Let's go around it. I don't know if this is picking it up on the camera, but it's just really light from the moonlight, and um, it's really easy to get around this ground in the bush. Um, I definitely don't think I could have done this on a new moon, though. If you just pitch black and fucking running the bushes everywhere. Okay, I tied Gary up um, outside the seatbelt sign about 4Ks down the road. That's a quarantine station just coming up back behind it where uh, we'll get David, the French hitchhiker, and uh, we'll go through and pick Gary up if all goes well. <laughs> Alright, David's in the car and um, the, only, the only problem is it's 20 to 10 and shift change is 10 o'clock for those guys. So I'm hoping the other guy doesn't come the other way and see us, but we'll see. Here we are coming out to quarantine. They're basically just going to check for fruit, nuts, and... Uh, <laughs> animals. Animals. <laughs> Which we ain't got one. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Go through it. It's a bit of a, um, a heap, but just get in there. I'll just get you to open up the car for me. Yeah. Mate, I've got a few of these. Mate, I'll just. Obviously, that. Obviously, that. Um, are um, olives alright? Yeah, mate. 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 Yeah, so bonjour back at home. <laughs> so doing the tourist thing. Okay, we are uh, through, the, through is the checkpoint. So we'll just go up here and pick up Gary. Hopefully there's no um, shift change guy coming the other way who gets suspicious at a stop car, stop van. So I'll, um, I'll get out and grab him. Yeah, is it? yeah. Just keep the door open, and um, if if any shit happens, like someone comes the other way, and I have to disappear, just just say you're doing a piss. <laughs> and this is a stick shift. I should have taught you how to drive the fucker. <laughs> just dr it, I'll, I'll leave it in for. It'll be alright. I'm just getting paranoid. Okay. Come on, Gary. Oh, Fucking the only other. The only other fuck up is if uh, um, a dog's eating Gary or something. No, he'll be right. I'm gonna go and grab the fucker. Gary! Gary! Where are you, mate? Gary! Gary, how are you? I got you. Here we go, mate. I'll just untie you. Yeah, good boy, mate. Good boy. Gary! I'm fucking driving away. I've just picked you up. Well done, Gary. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fuck <laughs> There we go. That's it. You never know what's happening when you hitchhike, eh? <laughs> Smuggle. <laughs> Smuggling a goat. Hey, Gary, how are you, Gary? You in the back there? Right. Good work, Gary. Good job. Whoa! We got through. We're in Western Australia. <laughs> with an illegal goat. I just want to say though, for anyone who happens to watch his video, Gary came from Western Australia and he's got no diseases except for herpes. And hey, fuck, we got drunk that night and uh, we, we had to pay our rent. Well, here we are in Kalgoorlie after uh, we've, we've picked David up in uh, Port Augusta. And uh, hey, Gary, 
hasn't cost us a cent and we've had a fucking good time with you. Really enjoyed your company. So, thanks, David. Hopefully you'll get a lift into Perth, eh? I hopefully too. Well, what about the smuggling over the border? Well, that was, yeah. The smuggling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're probably thinking, fuck, these guys are drug runners. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, it could be, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I haven't actually told you, but uh, Gary's actually got a kilo of heroin up his ass, so uh, <laughs> I packed it in last night. And uh, David, we've got a, uh, there we go, we've got a, got a present for you. Oh yeah. See you David, bye. Oh yeah. True adventurer. Let's go and see our David. Fuck, he's still here. Gary, he's still here. Fuck, mate. Are you still here? Yeah, I'm waiting here four years, since four years, it's in four hours, and nobody picked me up. Yeah, well, mate, uh, I don't know what. We've just, we've just driven all across the Nullarbor. It's been 2,000 kilometres, Gary. We're a bit stiff, so uh, I'm going to shout my mate Gary a massage. At the London House uh, personal care massage place in Kalgoorlie. So, uh, Gary, let's go in and uh, get you sorted out, brother. I might go to Gary, uh -huh. and um, uh, I'm here to shout him a massage. He? Yeah, he is. He's goat. Yeah, he's goat, but um, I can pay full body massage. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 80 bucks. So, yeah, just, just um, is that all right? Have you got time? Yeah, cool, Gary. You're getting a massage, mate. All right, come in here, Gary. Yeah, I'll, I'll take him in. This is not what it looks like. <laughs> right, there we go. That's it, Gary. Go in there. That's it. Yeah. Just, just his back and his and his legs. Yeah. Neck and shoulder. Yeah. I know. I know you guys don't do happy finishes, so uh, we won't do that. So, but Gary, just a nice massage, okay? There you go. <laughs> You'll be right, Gary. Thanks a lot for the massage, guys. That was unreal. <laughs> Gary, let's fuck off, mate. They want money. Let's go. See ya. Here we are with my mate Rosie in uh, Boulder, near Kalgoorlie. I tell you what, Rosie. I mean, Gary's been good, mate. But fuck, mate. He's... I think he needs a bit more than a massage. How about we take him to a brothel? Yeah, fucking great idea. Okay, here we are, Rosie, at the Cuesta... Cuesta Blanca. The only original brothel left in Kalgoorlie. And, uh, Gary, we're taking you in for a bit of a fucking good time, mate. You deserve it. Ready to get the willy wet, Gary? Gary, look at this. Oh, there are animals in here, mate. Hi, um, Jimbo, and this is, um, my friend Gary there. And, um... Gary? Yeah, he's, he's beautiful. Um, anyway, we were just wondering whether we could um, get a bit of a, a double or a free one with one of the girls. Well, yes, that'll be 570 Yeah, that's no worries. Um, Do you need a shower? Uh, yeah, yeah, I gave him a golden shower this morning, so he's alright. And, um, yeah, that'd be great. Thanks for that. Hi. Hi, I'm Jim, and this is Gary. Hi, Gary. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate this, you know. This is great. Come on, Gary. Oh, look at him. He's keen. Come on in. <laughs> no. Can't wait. Come on, Gary. In you come. And so, what, what's this here? This is the dominatrix room. This is dominatrix. Yeah, great. Would well, well, Gary like some whipping? Uh, well, I'll, 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 pro I'll probably get tied up, because Gary, he's always getting tied up, you know. It's probably my turn, eh, Gary? So, uh... So, what's... I'll Gary's on there. Ooh, yeah, Gary's keen, isn't he? He's, he's, he's up for it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, a threesome? Yeah, yeah, threesome, yeah. I mean, you know, we gave him, I gave him a massage, you know, the other day, but I just don't think it was enough. Yeah, for him, yeah. and also, um, he hasn't, he won't come because he's got no balls, but he loves a bit of that, yeah, and he doesn't like anal, I've tried. Anyway, um, anyway, anyway, hey, uh, you're not going to film this. There we go. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Natasha, that was amazing. I'll tell you what, Gary, you probably had about 40 minutes, I only had 20, but uh, you're a good mate. Anyway, um, let's go, Gary, had your first root. Her first threesome. That's a lot. Oh, no, Gary, Gary, yeah, I was up, mate. Hey, you go, right, here we go. 
Gary, we'll go to Gary, mate. Here we go. Let's go, Gary. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. Come on, mate. Come on, Gary. Let's go, Gary. <whistles> Gary. Gary. That's it, mate. Come on over here. That's it, Gary. Oh, you're a legend. About to have a breath test, Gary. Mate, blow into the bag, Gary. Blow, Gary. Blow. Oh, he's abstaining. I reckon he's guilty. Refusal. Okay, what's basically happening is we're going down to Fremantle Friday night. Everyone's out. Tied Gary up. Everyone's taking photos of him, patting him, and you know, having a laugh. And this lady's just come out of nowhere and going. That's just animal cruelty. You got you, you, you shouldn't tether him up. You should be on a farm. You know, people are touching him. You know, he's really agitated. And I'm just going, you know, calm down. Anyway, things escalated. She builded me. She builded me because she reckoned I was being cruel to Gary. Anyway, uh, I've got a bit of a cut here, but like the best thing for cuts is actually urine. And I just happen to have a. Um, a bottle which I did on the 27th of the 10th so if you ever get a cut people like I'm about to go to the hospital but the best shit is this right just this is like 10 day old urine and just put it on there and it just disinfects it right and it just the best thing for skin it'll stop the scarring and uh, you know that's why when you travel you always got to be ready urine It's been a weird night, hasn't it? <laughs> Anyway, here Gary and I are in the uh, Fremantle Fun Run. <laughs> Gary's setting a pretty good pace. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to catch him actually. <laughs> Let's go, Gary. Come on, mate. All that training you did across the Nullarbor. Come on, mate. I'm not actually in the race, I'm just chasing me goat. It's not for humans to do this, man. Keep up the pace, Gary. I reckon you can take this out. He's got a strong finish. Oh my god, what the hell? Some people go to the drink stations, Gary goes to the bush station. Let's go, Gary. Let's go. That's it, mate. I'm a bit bugger, I tell you what. When he was running across the Nullarbor training, I reckon I should maybe got out and done a bit as well. Let's go, Gary. Come on, mate. Uh oh. Looks like the cops have arrived. At least he's on a tether. Is he alright, mate? Yeah. yeah, yeah, cheers, car. What nice cops. Just gave Gary a caution today. No fine, no court case, no drama. Just a lovely Sunday stroll.
go, Gary. You want to uh, go on the Ferris wheel? Uh, uh, can we bring a goat on the Ferris wheel? No. Kid. It's a kid. No, you're not allowed to. Oh, all right. You sure? Yes. All right. Uh, you're the block. Hey. No pets. All right. That's okay. No worries. Looks like the boss has knocked us back, Gary. Hey? Yeah, you can pat the goat, yeah. Ferris wheel, that would have been fun. Release gut spasm, and there's a digestive stimulant. Mate, how, how come we can't have a goat in, in here? <laughs> oh, you got all quiet now, haven't you, mate? When the camera's not on you, you're dishing the rules out. <laughs> yeah, we've, got to, we've got to get him off. Sorry. Got to get him out? Right, I guess. Time to move on from another town. Shit, looks like Gary's in trouble again. Here we are in Centennial Park and uh, the Rangers car. <laughs> Sorry mate, that's my go Gary, is he alright? Uh, oh, alright, okay. Can I just grab him and take him out? Uh, yeah, mate. yeah, no worries, thanks mate. That's cool. Yeah, no. Appreciate the warning mate. He's, yeah, he's gotten into a fair bit of shit today, you know, uh, just yeah. running everywhere, but um, yeah, he's just done a bit of mowing down here, so I'll get the um, tether and just get him out of here for yeah, you, mate. So. Sweet, no problem. Cheers, mate. Ta. Yeah, now, we've heard of some ridiculous finds in our time, but this next one will really get your gosh. <laughs> But his latest meal has cost him more than he bargained for. I've basically been fined $440 because my goat was eating a bit of public grass. Jimbo and his goat Gary are best mates. Show your hands with Laura. Hey, nice to meet you, Gary. I like your hat. Yeah. Flips off slap. They've travelled around Australia together, busking and performing a stand-up comedy routine. And after a gig, this guy offered me a goat for a case of beer, so... Uh, I just threw him in the back of the car. It was a bit of a joke, really. And then he was basically car trained, and he gets his own food and follows me around, and he's just good company. The pair move around from town to town in this van that runs on vegetable oil, Gary drawing crowds of adoring fans. Gary? Yeah. Gary the goat! Oh, he's like adorable. I want to carry him. <laughs> they told me it was a dog. He's got to be one of the most famous goats in Australia, would you say? Oh. Yeah, he's getting a bit of a profile lately, but he's, yeah, he's, um, he's pretty well known. But not everybody is feeling the love for Gary, in particular a group of police officers at Sydney's Circular Quay. The only thing he could eventually get me on was um, unlawful destruction of vegetation because he was eating grass. Gary has been fined $440 for damaging vegetation without proper authority. When you need a permit for your goat to eat grass, I think it's time to just go, what's going on? Jimbo has decided to contest the fine and will be taking the matter to court. He put his story up on Gary's Facebook page and it's gone viral. 200,000 people up in arms. It's not an anti-police thing. It's just, it's just, it, regulation gone too far. I think that's why it's got the interest. Oh, Gary! 
I've taken him for a walk through the town. I've got him down to Circular Quay because he needed some grass. Uh, telegraph a photographer's following me. Four cops have surrounded me, basically, and said, <laughs> said, and he said, you've done, you, look, you've bunched a whole bunch of rules here. And I said, what? <laughs> right? And he said, I don't know, but I'm going to find one, right? In 1793, yeah. Governor Macquarie said, go yeah. to not walk. <laughs> yeah, well, he, they would have had to go back. So, oh, at first of all, He's going through his law book, and I'm just, and he's, first of all, he's going, he's, un, he's out of control. I go, no, he's fully under control. I went up there, and they said, you've got to put a leash on him. And I said, no, you've got to put a leash on dogs, not a goat, right? <laughs> and, then, and then I put the leash on him, and then I let go of the leash. And he said, you've got to hold on to the leash. I said, you've said, I've just got to put, put the leash. leash on him. <laughs> That's so been a smart <laughs> Yeah. So he's basically, it, it's escalating, right? And meanwhile, kids are patting him and people taking photos of him. Going, Look, the he's, Japanese are out in full. Like he's, I'm promoting Sydney. He's on Facebook already, right? <laughs> and he's getting more in a big half, right? And oh, eventually well. he's going, look, I can't find anything, right? But, <laughs> but, it's not but, but I will and I'll mail you the fine, right? Oh. And then I just said, look... Right, uh, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, mate, there's a telegraph photographer near me. I said, mate, you, uh, you're the best thing that's happened in my career in 20 years, right? <laughs> I said, did. this is, yeah, I said something about publicity, and the other cops just said, look, we get worse publicity than this. And I said, I'm not thinking about you, mate, I'm thinking about me. You're a gift from the gods. <laughs> so then I said, he said, you can go, but Gary doesn't follow me on the lead. He just follows me. He doesn't have, yeah, I, like, I wouldn't like a lead around me either, no. right? And he goes, you've got to hold the lead. So I picked him up and put him on my shoulder. And he said, you can't do that. Why? I, I said, you'll create a scene. I said, well, look, can you give me a lift across the bridge? In the cop car. Yeah. <laughs> Which was great because I wanted that photograph of me getting in. Out the window. Yeah. I went, you know, I told the <laughs> photographer, I told the photographer, here's your money shot. Here's the shot of me getting in the back of the cab with, with a goat. paddy wagon with a, with a goat, right? <laughs> So the cops rang up and he's rung up his authorities going, can I give this guy a lift with his cab? And he's going, and he's got off the phone and he's going, I feel like I'm on candid camera. <laughs> he said, I feel like I'm on candid camera. And I said, mate, this might be funny for you, but I'm going to get a fine out of this and I've got to come up with some money to pay for it. I don't think you should be so flippant about a serious th issue, right? <laughs> He's freaking out, right? Not freaking out. And then I said to him... He's well, I said to him, just out of interest, mate, there's four cops. Are you always the bad cop? You know, good cop, bad cop. Uh -huh. And he said, that's when he got a bit... He went, no, I'm normally the good cop, right? <laughs> he said, I'm normally the good cop. And I said, all right, so you're normally the good cop, but you thought you'd <laughs> practice... No, you thought you'd practice your bad cop routine on a soft target like a guy with a goat, right? 
I said, what happens when you meet a real criminal, especially a scary one? Do you go back to being the good cop and then hide behind these guys while they do all the hard work, right? And so he's, he's getting, you know, it was getting he's slightly getting personal. Then, didn't he? So he's, imagine when he went home that night. Oh, have I yeah, had a day? Yeah, but he's then we've got in the paper the next day, which is great, right? And then he's given me this fine, which is so uh, the fine's probably I'm taking it to court. What's the fine for? The fine was unlawful destruction of vegetation. Oh, really? Yeah, and I thought, this is going to be so easy to fend. One, it wasn't me, it was my goat. And yeah. two, he was eating grass next to a guy who was mowing the lawn. <laughs> right, eating a few leaves off the bushes. So, that, so he was determined not for you not to beat him? He was determined to help my career. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, unknowingly or yeah, grudgingly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was like, I feel like giving the guy a cuddle. You should get you know? this on... Um, the internet, what do they call it? Um, the, YouTube. Yeah, well, it probably will be with this little video. But, like, but So I'm going to court on December for unlawful destruction of vegetation. So Gary and I are going to get out of the cab wearing a suit and tie together. Oh, that's right? sad. But that will be, hopefully we'll, we'll get off it and we, you know. How many people are getting shot every day in Sydney lately? Yeah. How many car crashes every day on the M whatever? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're worried about a goat eating the grass clippings. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you know that's um that's the deal. Aren't we meant to be into recycling and all no. those sort of well, things? Well, it's it's it was basically it's an ego issue. Of course it is. It's, it's, so, but like you say, some energy you just got to work with. And like I just know that um, <laughs> it's 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 a perfect storm. Oh, that's. Wonderful.